In our earlier videos of electrolysis, we have already seen the electrolysis of molten compounds and the electrolysis of aqueous compounds. And in this video, we will see that how electrolysis is used to refine the copper, that is purify the copper obtained from the extraction process. And then what is the difference of writing the ionic equations of refining of copper compared to what is written for the aqueous compound so let's see the refining of copper in this video but before we go ahead with the electrolysis of copper refining let's understand the electrolysis or let's revise the electrolysis of aqueous compound so that we can understand it and relate it to the refining of copper so here is an electrolytic cell with the battery supply or the power supply here with the positive and negative terminal so in that case here this en electrode is anode and the other electrode is cathode in the electrolytic cell which is shown here with the help of such a container and here we have electrolyte this we have already seen in the earlier part of our electrolysis and then electrons flow from the anode to the positive terminal of the battery so from anode to the positive terminal of the battery the electrons flow so the flow of electron will be from positive to negative in the external circuit and in the electrolyte the ions move to the electrodes of the opposite charge so suppose if we have such ions in an aqueous compound say zinc and bromide ions and hydrogen and hydroxide ions due to the aqueous salt then the opposite charge will be moving the ions will be op uh, moving towards the electrode of the opposite charge so here the positive ions will move towards the cathode which is negatively charged and the negative ions will move towards the anode which is positively charged electrode so the electrolyte will have the movement of ions and the external circuit will have the movement of electrons now the electrolysis process of copper refining is similar to the electrolysis of a copper sulfate or any copper salt electrolysis here suppose if we have taken example of copper sulfate electrolysis in the aqueous form then again here this is a negative terminal and positive terminal of the battery or the main supply with anode here and cathode on the other terminal so here we can see the electrolytic cell with the graphite electrodes or you can say carbon electrodes both the electrodes are made of graphite that is carbon now let's see what happens in this electrolysis because this process is similar to the copper refining so let's revise this here the hydroxide ions will move towards the positive terminal forming oxygen gas at the positive terminal so the product at the positive terminal is oxygen at cathode the copper ions will move to form the copper so the two products at anode will be oxygen and at cathode will be the copper metal so these are the two products produced in this electrolysis let us remember these things because there will be a difference when we use a similar process for copper refining and one more thing we need to understand is that the electrolyte will now change to sulfuric acid because the ions left inside the electrolyte is hydrogen ion and sulfate ions so hydrogen and sulfate ions will form sulfuric acid in the electrolyte so actually you can say there are three products oxygen copper and sulfuric Acid. so what are the observations now that is also important now as we know that at anode oxygen gas is produced so we can see the bubbles of colorless bubbles of oxygen and at cathode as copper is formed so you can see a red brown deposit on the copper because of the formation of 
copper deposit on the cathode and sulfuric acid is formed in the electrolyte so you can say that the electrolyte electrolyte fades why because copper sulfate was blue in color and now it has changed to sulfuric acid so which is colorless so the electrolyte will fade in the color or will turn to colorless so these are the three observations which are again important now let's have a look at the half equation at cathode now this is an overall reaction where copper sulfate is dissolved in water and we have got three products at anode the hydroxide ion forms oxygen water and four electrons are released now this process is an oxidation process because the electrons are lost at cathode copper ions gains electrons to form the copper metal now as the gaining of electron is done it's a reduction process now let's see what's the difference of the electrolysis with copper refining process this is the setup for copper refining it's in similar to the electrolysis of aqueous copper sulfate itself but the only difference is that the electrodes are different the negative terminal and positive terminal is as such now what's the difference the cathode cathode is made of pure copper a thin sheet of pure copper and the anode is made of impure copper which is obtained from the extraction of the copper metal from its ore so impure copper and pure copper pure copper is a thin sheet and here you can see that the impure copper is a big rod we have taken and again the electrolyte is a copper sulfate solution so you can say that copper sulfate can be written as just aqueous copper sulfate so what are the ions present in the electrolyte the copper ion the sulfate ion CSO4 2 minus the hydrogen ion and the hydroxide and the four ions which are present in the electrolyte so now let's see what is the difference when it we start the electrolysis let's start with the process at the cathode the copper ions will move towards the oppositely charged electrode that is cathode and will gain electron to form the copper metal but now as we know the anode is also an copper it's not a graphite it's not an inert electrode so what's going to happen that is also going to participate in the electrolysis process so here the copper metal atoms which are present in on the electrodes here will also participate and because of that the copper atoms will move inside the electrolyte losing electron to form the copper ion so here you can see that the copper ions which were lost to the cathode now it's regained from the anode so copper ions are replaced we can see that the copper ions are replaced inside the electrolyte from the anode anode here is very important that's the reason that we have taken anode in bigger in size we can see that the copper atoms are getting lost from the anode so now what are the observations in our earlier electrolysis of aqueous copper sulfate we had seen that at anode the oxygen gas was formed and because of that the colorless bubbles were seen but here the anode will become smaller in size that is the most important observation and at cathode the copper metal will deposit on the thin sheet of copper so the cathode will become bigger in size by the deposition of more and more copper on it and what are the half equations then the half equations at cathode is Cu2 plus plus 2 electrons gives copper so copper is produced at cathode and at anode the copper will get oxidized to form the copper ions so these copper ions are lost and moving into the electrolyte so you can say that as the copper ions are replaced the 
color of the electrolyte does not change the color of the electrolyte let's say the color which is blue color color of the electrolyte is retained and the reason is that the copper ions are replaced from the anode so this is the main difference of the electrolysis of copper with graphite electrode and the electrolysis of copper with the copper electrodes so here copper electrodes what is going to happen is that the pure copper will get deposit on the cathode and that's why we call this process as copper refining copper pure copper is deposited on the cathode so after electrolysis here you can see in the observation that the cathode has become bigger in size and the anode has become smaller in size because of the deposition of copper and other than that the impurities which might be there in the copper electrode at anode that might deposit at the bottom so other metals which were present in the impure copper in the extraction of copper which is again obtained with the copper that will deposit down at the, as a sludge so at the bottom of the electrolyte you may see some impurities settling down which is called as sludge and this is the half equations of at cathode and at anode of the copper refining now what's the difference you can see that at anode the copper gets oxidized in our earlier electrolysis the hydroxide ion was oxidized to form oxygen gas but here copper is getting oxidized to form the copper ion so you can see that the half equations at cathode and at anode are opposite of each other here copper ions changes to copper and at anode the copper changes to copper ions that is the main difference here in the half equations of copper refining and electrolysis of copper with the aqueous copper sulfate